What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sunnyside TV, and today we're playing a little Sparklight. This is an action adventure top down with some procedurally generated areas and dungeons. And this one's a fun one, man. I've, I've liked it. It's been hard. I've died quite a bit. I haven't played it very long. I've played it for maybe 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, you basically, at the very start, now I'm still at the start, you have a wrench for a weapon, and you just kind of just kind of explore and you're looking for dungeons and you're looking for upgrades now there's a way to upgrade your little um your little wrench as you guys can see here and you can put little upgrades like here i have a hell i have a heart gives me a little piece of a heart this gives me a defense like a, i think i can save myself from getting hurt as much from an attack like it, it reduces the amount incoming so there's all sorts of things happening here now you can get these from the dungeons i haven't killed the boss yet unfortunately is the boss that they put you at the very beginning of the game is, is a little tough but we're gonna see if we can beat it in this video but like always if you guys could do me a huge favor hit that like button and sub to the channel for more gameplay and game reviews let's jump into it now right here is you can buy more upgrades for your little weapon and there's a main hub town here and there's some things that you can work towards, like building up these shops, and you have to purchase. Now, if you guys look on the bottom left, there's spark light, and with that spark light, I can get these shops up and running, which will help me further in the adventure. But we're going to go ahead and we can see if we can beat some stuff without that. Now, when you land, which is what I'm going to do here, interestingly enough, the whole area gets procedurally generated. You still want to aim towards certain areas but the whole thing gets procedurally generated which is really awkward in my opinion but let's see if we can hit this boss here now i'm looking at the map so the, every time i land the map is different okay so that's a dead end but there's a chest here so let's open that bad boy up Ooh. so nothing in the chest so the game's trolling me <laughs> with that Ooh. All right, so we got an item there. I don't know what that item does, though. I don't know what this does. What does this do? Oh, I think that's the energy, which I'm not quite sure what that does yet, unfortunately. So we're looking for a dungeon. All right, let's go this way. I did see that there was a chest there. Uh, do we have to go this way? We do. So there is a dash, and like I said, you can hit with your wrench. There's also range, the ability to hit with range attacks, but I haven't unlocked a ranged weapon yet. Okay, so this is kind of just a dungeon that will drop me an um, a upgrade to the weapon. Okay, those dudes were easy enough. We're trying not to get hit. Oof, that was close. Thought I was going to get hit there. Sweet. Very basic right now. Pixel art, by the way, looks great. Oh, my goodness. Oh, did I get hit? I did. What's this? Oh, it looked like the, uh, the pipe there was, like, coming apart. So this dude's easy. I just got to just run while he powers up. Easy. All right, so now we'll unlock a patch. You found a bunch of spark light. Ooh. That is a really good thing. To find a bunch of spark light is definitely excellent. All right, so let's see if we can go back out. Now, I don't... You, you kind of have to, like, travel and try to find the dungeon. And I think what the game wants you to do is... Get as many upgrades as you can in one zone before you move on to another zone. Now, I could be completely wrong in that assessment, but I think that's what the game wants you to do. Oof. Oof. Okay, I should just kill you because it's really easy to do that. <laughs> Let me see what's in this direction. There's, like, nothing in this direction. This is a dead end. So we're going to go back. Can we go down? Hmm. Okay, let's see. What, what happens if have I gone in this direction? There we go. So we have the boss fight right here. Let's see if we can beat this boss. He's already kicked my butt a few times. But we're going to find out if we can do something. If we don't, we'll try to upgrade since I now have some cash on me. 
So we got full hearts. Good to go. Let's see what this guy can do. Tunneling Titan. Oof. 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 <laughs> I'm struggling. We could only really get a couple shots in. Oh, I don't know how to dodge that. There we go. Oh. We're dodging him. Come on, 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 come on. Woof. That's the first time I dodged that ability. There we go. We're playing it safe. Oh my god. Oh, I missed. Uh, I almost have to readjust my thumb on the joystick because I'm scared I'm not gonna I'm gonna lose grip and get my butt kicked. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, he's almost down. He's almost down. I think now he's gonna do the uh, the second move. Yep. So he's easy to telegraph. There we go. I think he, this should be it. I'm still like. Oh no! Come on, come on, come on! There it is. We got him right. Beat it. There it is. First time I was able to beat the boss. I've died a couple times on him. Oh, we rescued the little buddy. One thing that I didn't mention is that the game has a uh, local co-op, and the local co-op will actually be that little buddy right there. Smell terrible. Before I, oh, I almost became junk food, I noticed these strange glyphs. These gremlins were trying real hard to get in, but it's shield shut. There's no way we're getting in there. Mm, okay. So what now? Wow, what was that? All right, we opened it up. Sweet. So that was a family necklace or something. Ooh. Hang on, I'm picking up some serious energy coming from this hole in the ground. I've got an idea. Try making me, try taking me over with your remote. All right, now let's dig up whatever's under the claw digger. What is it? What did he say? Dig up that sparkling hole. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I spaced out. Ah, it's a switch. There we go. Perfect. Sweet. So we're able to unlock little guy. It's back. This rune is on. Uh, this rune is an unknown origin, but I may be able to decipher its meaning. Scanning. It appears to be a message from the sheer amount of information stored in this one sigil is quite remarkable. Guided the astronaut, wait, astronomer. <laughs> they traveled across the darkness for ages. Astronomer, I can't, I can't read apparently. The astronomer with her limitless knowledge of the stars led them here. That's all I was able to decipher. Okay. You have done well to reach this hollow. You have reunited with your faithful friend. It's just the beginning. In the light beacon, you have activated the astronomer seal, the first of five. You must activate the remaining seals or this world will be unmade. More will be revealed as your journey continues. Make haste, the starborn child. The world's fate is in your hands. So there's five zones. I'm assuming with five bosses. And your goal is to upgrade your weapon as much as you can until you get into it. That's gonna, that's basically the basis and the fullness of this game, I think. There's a four others, each powered by the spark-like combustor. Pollution from the combustors have been mutating. 
the creatures into monsters and fracturing the world. I don't know what the Baron is after, but he's ripping it. How do you know all this? Because I'm the fool who discovered spark-like combustion. Perhaps I was blinded by the thrill of the innovation. Perhaps the wealth. Perhaps I was just naive. Whatever it was, I lost sight of the harm my inventions would cause the world. And I had no idea how powerful and evil the Baron would become. But there's hope. I built a back door into the Titan circuitry. Take this patch when equipped in your multi-tool. It will show you the locations of the remaining Titans on your map. This patch reveals the location of the dig sites of the world map after you land in the world. Nothing I can do will make amends for the wrong I've done, but maybe you can help put an end to it. The next Titan is located in the Golden, Wor Golden Woods, east of the Vinlands. You should head there next. All right, how do I get down? Oh, that sounds great. There it is. So now we're back here again, and now we have this... We have the uh, allows you to move up while charging. And then what was this other one? Allows you to real reveal the dig sites of the world map after you landed. So I actually got to take up a whole spot for this. That blows. Ah, oh, blocked, blocked, blocked. It's all blocked. So there it is. Let's see if we can upgrade real quick before I hop off on this video. Let's fix up this guy. The widget shop. No, widget shop. Do we want to fix the widget shop? Construct the workshop. What does he do? I need a spark light to get my workshop in order to invent these gadgets. Won't invent themselves. Hmm. I was wondering if there's a way to fix the... Uh, oh, we got a lady up here. I can hear something chirping, but I can't find it. Wow, it's a beats, wasn't that? I've been searching everywhere for more beats. I believe I can't find beats. Used to be easy to find, but the Baron's pollution makes it hard enough for them to air sing. And when beats can't sing, they eventually will and die. They're starting to hide. Find your beats to your Avengers, send them up. Oh, my name's Harmony. Sweet, okay. And real quick, let's see if we can fix up his shop and see what happens. Construct the widget shop. There it is. Oh, shoot. Oh man, what did I just buy? If you can find more spark light, we can make the widget shop even better. Oh, so you have to keep upgrading the shop over and over again. Okay. There it is, guys. This is spark light. Looks like there's different zones and you got to conquer each zone before you get to the final zone. Keep in mind that when you actually touch down, everything's procedurally generated. This is spark light in a nutshell action adventure game. Uh, the game's $21 right now on sale. So if you're interested in this one, Definitely think about picking it up. I'm not sure I would recommend it at full price. It seems like a fun game. Seems decent enough, but maybe on a sale, this one would definitely catch my attention. I don't. It doesn't seem combat-wise that it has a lot going for it. You're always going to have the wrench. You can upgrade the wrench to be better. You have the power button. There is a ranged, and there is the little... Um, there's the ability to kind of mess with the gadgets and stuff, which is cool. There's some neat stuff here, but ultimately, I don't know. I don't know if the game's worth the 25. I can see it being definitely worth it at around the $15 price. But that's going to be for me on Sunnyside TV. And uh, if you guys could do me a huge favor, hit that like button and sub to the channel once again if you haven't already. Once again, have a sunny day, guys. Peace.